Brett White back here at the Ericsson booth at MWC LA 19. I'm here with Rohit Rajput, the Service Portfolio Director here at Ericsson. Rohit, give us an overview of the Operations Engine demo that you're uh, showing people today. Okay, so to start with, uh, Ericsson Operations Engine is an operating model to across the entire network lifecycle for the operators. And it's, it's all about delivering the end business objectives and outcomes for the operator. So let's say your business objective and outcome is for an operator is optimized cost, uh, it can be customer experience, it could be network transformations. So the, the means and ways is that how we can deliver an end business objective for the operator. And how do we do it? It is based on four core principles. Number one is customer experience is the key. Second is it's all about automation and analytics. Third is, it is based on machine learning and AI. And the fourth component is that which is very key, it has to be a cultural and shift change along with the processes that we need to build. So keeping this in mind, it is uh, what we do is, let's say the customer has having a business outcome of, let's say, uh, improved customer experience. Mm -hmm. We choose a set of capabilities that can be delivered through, underpinned by some of the components. Uh, it, is, it is data, AI, and other uh, processes. Now, uh, what we do here is that, uh, if we want a customer to talk about that I need to have a certain set of package, we deliver it through the base packages and the value pack, and we deliver with the business outcome that customer have. And the demos that we are depicting here is based on AI. The demo we are depicting is based on the service alarms. We, sh we are depicting here a business dashboards as customer can see. We are also delay uh, depicting a 5G uh, slicing use cases here. What are some uh, the more exciting use cases you could see in the future for this type of technology? So if I say that everything is now dependent upon uh, data, it is data-driven operations. The move, uh, it, is, it is meant to move from reactive operations to the predictive operations, incident-driven to more of data-driven operations. So the use cases would be all machine learning and AI, which means arrest the problem before it occurs. Second use case is all about 5G network slicing. These are two key use cases we think of. I think that really covers it here from the operations engine section here at the Ericsson booth. Stay tuned for more updates from MWC LA19.